at God. when you started selling When I started estate. selling real estate, the uh, percentage rate was at 6%. Back in the 80s, I was selling houses at 13%. And used to do, do a, uh, a negative M buy down, down to 8%. And then you used to click off every year to go to 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And it finally kept out at 13, 13 and a half. That was back then. A lot of people remember this in the Carter days when interest rates were really high, 18%, but real estate was selling for 13. You can still sell some houses. Well, I can tell you about a couple of closings I had that uh, probably are a little different than everybody else. Uh, we did a bunch of closings during the week, and all of a sudden interest rate changed, and back then you had to go back, these are VA, FHA loans, you had to go back and reclose the people. So, you know, one guy, you know, is at this house, so, we, so I'm taking the lady from the title company, we go into his house, it's over on the west side of town, and he's feeding the chickens out in the back, you know, in the chicken coop. Yeah. yeah. So he wouldn't come out, so we had to go back there and get him to sign, re-sign the papers in the chicken coop, <laughs> you know, to get him to reclose, to have him understand that, hey, you know, interest rates change, we got to do this, <laughs> otherwise, you know, that house that you just signed for, it's not yours, you know, this and that, so. But that's probably the weirdest case I've had to close a house. So what do you think about the people that, you know, are going out and getting second jobs or feeling like, you know, they're running scared and they need to go, um, you know, get out of real estate? It's, what do you, what do you think about those people? Well, I think it's like anything else in life. It's, it, it's up to you as to whether you feel like it's, it's, it's worthy of stay, sticking in there because if you feel like you're a good agent and that uh, you know how to work, uh, you always make money in real estate. It's, it's always happened that way. The good agents always make money in a bad market or good market because they give the service to their client and uh, everybody knows that and they get more referrals than they know what to do with. I've had many, many people call me back five, six years later and say, gosh, friend, uh, you know, I'm ready to sell my house. We're moving up. Uh, I can't you know, thank you enough for getting me in the house at the time. It was our first home. And that's why I really like working with, with first-time home buyers because they're the most vulnerable to, to not knowing where to go and how to get it done and what to do. So made you really feel good that they uh, came back to you after uh, that first house and referred their friends and family. And, you know, that's what keeps you in business.